The Gospel to All the World, October 29 And this Gospel of the Kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Matthew 24, 14 Not upon the ordained minister only rests the responsibility of going forth to fulfill this commission. Every one who has received Christ is called to work for the salvation of his fellow men. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come. Revelation 22, 17. The charge to give this invitation includes the entire church. Everyone who has heard the invitation is to echo the message from hill and valley saying, Come. It is a fatal mistake to suppose that the work of soul-saving depends alone upon the ministry. The humble, consecrated believer upon whom the master of the vineyard places a burden for souls is to be given encouragement by the men upon whom the Lord has laid larger responsibilities. Those who stand as leaders in the church of God are to realize that the Savior's commission is given to all who believe in His name. God will send forth into His vineyard many who have not been dedicated to the ministry by the laying on of hands. Hundreds, yea thousands, who have heard the message of salvation are still idlers in the marketplace when they might be engaged in some line of active service. To these, Christ is saying, Why stand ye here all the day idle? And He adds, Go ye also into the vineyard. Matthew 20, 6 and 7. Why is it that many more do not respond to the call? Is it because they think themselves excused in that they do not stand in the pulpit? Let them understand that there is a large work to be done outside the pulpit by thousands of consecrated lay members. Long has God waited for the spirit of service to take possession of the whole church so that everyone shall be working for Him according to His ability. When the members of the Church of God do their appointed work in the needy fields at home and abroad in fulfillment of the Gospel Commission, the whole world will soon be warned and the Lord Jesus will return to this earth with power and great glory.